All right, I'm on hole number four of the Silver State Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Let's go to hole number four. And this hole has been ticking me off all week because every single thing I've done has ended up to the right, and I am done ending up to the right. So I'm making adjustments to either put me to the left or put me in the cup. So what I'm doing on this hole is I'm bringing and my chances of getting a hole in one here are just as good with no matter where it is as long as you've got the a backbone let's see if I have a backbone in a bag and a navigator that's all I need my backbone hits ah, I better go check where's my backbone it's 1.5 per ring So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off to the left of the cup. I'm not going to put on any side spin at all. I'm going to set it up so I think the distance is right. I'm going to do a 30% over pull. So if the wind's 3, I'm going to move 3.9. I'm going to try and hit perfect. Because I'm done going to the right. In the past, I'm not sure if they made a change on this hole. I'm not sure exactly what's going on because in the past, I've been right at the cup or slightly to the left of the cup. Very seldom do I ever go to the right, but here this week, everything's to the right. Everything's to the right. So you can change your real estate there by just switching to a one power ball. All they have to do is switch to a navigator or a quasar and they get that one power in there and they could easily hit on that island. And I know for sure that during the week they've played some rounds where they've burned a Titan or a Katana or a Quasar or one of those balls in one-on-one -on -one playing for 500 coins and not saving them for the tournament. So it's got to save your good stuff for the tournaments. You about three and a half, almost four backspin. And I want to go forward just a titch. Okay, 3-3. Three, three. It's going to be 1, so it's 4-3. Three. There's 3. It's almost a 3-ring three, three pull. Almost. Try to hit it perfect. And I hit it great to the right. Great to the right! and a little bit too much speed <laughs> and you can look at <laughs> close you can see where I set that up and you can see how far off that looked <laughs> it looked like I made an, a way over pull and I was set up heck a whole square on the on the green to the left like facing strictly to the left I had a one ring great to the right, and I'm at the cup. So what that tells me is, is I'm okay. I'm, and we really shouldn't have to make that big of a wind adjustment here. But you can see how there's something weird going on. This this the hole is there's something very weird, very strange going on because as far as I pulled that to the left, and then plus the over adjustment to the left, I should have ended up way to the left. And I hit a one ring great to the right, and it almost goes in the hole. So I am, I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing on that hole. I'm making some adjustments, and I'm actually getting closer to the hole. So hitting that one ring great to the right tells me that I could start a little bit closer to the hole, maybe half, half the distance where I was set up. And let's go back and look at that hole. So like where I was set up at, on this hole, where I was facing off. Here's the pin and get my pen to work here's the pin and I was facing off in this direction and then I made a 30 percent over pull in this direction so by all intents and purposes and I really shouldn't have to make that big of a wind adjustment because we can get right down on our ring so it's not that downhill you know I should have ended up way out here to the left and with a one ring great to the right I should have ended up you know maybe right where I was aiming but I almost went in the cup so there's some weird stuff going on here as far as you know, all week long I've been in this area. I've been out here all week to the right, and I'm done ending up to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with the 30% overdraw, 
right or wrong. And I'm going to, the next time I come here, instead of setting my club up where I was at in this line, I'm going to cut the distance. And I'm going to go right in between that. So I'll go back and watch that video and see where I was at as far as like where my first bounce was on this strip. And I'm going to move it in so that I cut that distance in half. And I'm going to stick with the 30%. And I'm going to keep working it. Whatever works. And you can do the same thing with your stuff. Maybe you're like, dude, that's not the way to do it. It probably isn't. But it's the way that it'll work for my stuff. And whatever whatever adjustment you have to make in order to get there. But if you're ending up constantly to the right of this hole and you're like hitting perfect and you're ending up to the right, you're going to have to make some adjustment. Otherwise, you're going to keep ending up to the right. So I'm going to keep working on this hole. And I actually feel real good about where we're going on this hole because I feel like I've got, there's a hole in one just waiting to happen. All right. That was hole number four. Hole number four of the Silver State Tournament in the opening round of the Rookie Division. Thanks for watching.